And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. All right, a partly cloudy sky tomorrow, upper 40s to low 50s over the area. Northwest wind will be blowing. Low 50s down towards Vetersburg and Covington, near 50 at Lafayette and Fowler. It'll be in the upper 40s at Flora and Monticello. Now, Friday, we warm up a little bit more, 50 to 56 for the high temperature. Frost 28 in the morning, but then a mostly sunny sky in the afternoon. Note the southeast winds, the winds changing direction. This, uh, this is a weather change that will be occurring. The warmth coming northward ahead of the next storm developing to the west with a 53 degree high greater Lafayette, but mid 50s in our west will be around 50 in our eastern counties. And Purdue taking on Michigan State on Saturday, 54 to 60 for your high. Weather looks fine at Ross Aid, partly cloudy, some frost in the morning. And then there's that 57 with south to south southwest winds blowing in the afternoon. 58 Attica, pushing 60 down here at Covington and mid 50s at Monticello and Delphi. And there's the warmth that will be pumped northeastward after this little cool snap. Two storms right now headed for British Columbia that is in the process of moving the warmth our way. And notice the incredible amount of tropical moisture. Coastal Mexico, around the Yucatan, Nicaragua, down here uh, around El Salvador. This could actually become a tropical storm or a hurricane. The bottom line is, as this next storm develops here in the Pacific and heads for Central California, it'll pick up the deep tropical moisture and it'll be flowing northward. And that means locally heavy rainfall for us by later next week. The below normal temperatures pull away. The above normal temperatures come in. This is a new model run. You can see temperatures running quite a bit above normal on Sunday and especially into Monday. And with that storm system coming in, uh, pushing the warmth in, good one to two inches of rain expected. Much of this falling on Thursday. And there'll be a few places that get more than two inches of rainfall. So rivers and streams coming back up with the wet soil conditions around. So we're fine tomorrow, we're fine Friday, we're fine right into Saturday too. And even Sunday's a good day, it's partly cloudy. Same thing Monday. Monday will be a windy day from the southwest and warm. There'll be multiple locations that'll get to 70 on Monday. Tuesday, more clouds, maybe a couple showers late in the day. Same thing Wednesday, windy, warm. And then we watch the severe weather actually from Iowa down to Oklahoma develop. This moves eastward. We kind of get the leftovers. The bulk of this severe weather is going to be kind of in this zone here and then moving into the south. Parts of southern Illinois and then southward into Mississippi and Alabama. But we could have an isolated severe storm or two, most likely late Thursday and Thursday night. But remember the deep tropical moisture, so pretty high rainfall rates. A lot of that rain we showed you is going to be falling late Thursday and Thursday night. Then after that, this storm really ramps up here. So strong west to northwest winds blowing. We could have some gusts more than 40 miles an hour a week from this weekend, and it will turn sharply colder. And all that's detailed on the blog right now, which you can get on your Storm Team 18 weather app. You can also check that out on WLFI.com. And meteorologist David Seipel will be in-house tomorrow morning. He's going to be in literally like three hours and he's going to look at new data and update this seven day forecast, which includes a 69 on Monday, a 67 Tuesday. How about a 70 Wednesday and unusually warm, especially at night?